welcome back dear students uh, we have already completed a lot of things now according to your syllabus the next thing what we are going to talk about is the positive versus normative economics that is positive economics versus normative economics as you can see on the screen there are li two little cartoons which uh, the first one is mr einstein and second one is a uh, mr common common air okay so mr einstein if he would say something he will provide us with uh, s any statement which could be tested or proved while mr commoner will just say that this should had been like this he will talk in subjective values he will just pass value conclusions or he will just give a statement which, which is based on values that the employment of india should increase but mr einstein would tell us that uh, uh, how it should have been increased. I am taking Einstein. He is uh, the, from the uh, world of physics, but he is one of the greatest persons whose cartoons have been made most. That is why I have taken him because you know him. That's why I'm talking about it. So keeping the crap apart, how we can differentiate in between normative as well uh, or positive and normative economics so for that we will uh, do simply one thing that we will take two sections and uh, on one section at uh, in one section we will talk about the positive economics positive economics while in the other section we will talk about the normative economics so uh, this is not only going to explain these two concepts or differentiate these two concepts it is also going to tell us that how all these very things happen and how we differentiate between the two it is going to just explain uh, and define and differentiate all those very things the first and foremost we can say under positive economics that uh, positive economics is uh, based on data and facts so we do not talk of anything uh, else we just talk uh, on the basis of the data which we have the facts which have the fact is that uh, prices are increasing it is and the data will tell us how much the prices are increasing uh, while in un, uh, normative economics it is based based on opinion Okay, somebody would say that uh, prices should had not been increasing, prices should not increase, the prices should come down. So these are the things which are based on opinion, etc. We are not giving any conclusive thing, we are not giving any data, we are not uh, talking of facts. So what it does, it leads us to that positive economics is uh, somewhat uh, descriptive. in nature it is going to describe each and everything while normative economics is narrow in nature that means it's not going to describe how this should happen people would say that this should happen how this should happen economics will decide about it and will deal about it so that means positive economics is explaining or we can say it explains cause and effect both what is the cause what will be the effect is how these things would turn that means it's talking about the cause and effect relationship uh, we can say between variables okay variables means let us say we have two variables x and y these variables could be interdependent or x could be depending upon y or y could be depending upon x if uh, the value of x is decreasing the value of y is also decreasing they are directly related to each other so this sort of things could be explained under positive economics only while in normative what we do we just pass value conclusion we pass over conclusions which may or may not be based on facts or it could be just my personal view and something like that so what does it all lead us to is that it means that positive economics is objective in nature while normative economics is subjective in nature okay so after that we can say that under positive economics we ask what is actually actually the 
प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पैंडेमिक कोविड नाइन्टीन इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड डाटा कम्स ऑन डेली बेसिस ऑन आवरली बेसिस दैट हाउ मेनी पेशेंट्स आर इंक्रीजिंग डे बाय डे और आवर बाय आवर वाइल इन नॉर्मेटिव इकोनॉमिक्स इट आस्क वट ऑट टू बी इफ यू वुड आस्क एनी बडी दिस टाइम वट ऑट टू बी दे वुड से द नंबर ऑफ पेशेंट शुड डिक्रीज बट हाउ इट शुड डिक्रीज द साइंस विल टेल एस दैट हाउ इट विल डिक्रीज दैट इज वॉट दैट इज वाई वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग एंड दिस इज नॉट सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग ओनली दिस इज टर्म नाउ एज अ सोशल वैक्सीन सो इट इज आस्किंग पॉजिटिव इज आस्किंग वॉट इज एक्चुअली अंडर पॉजिटिव इकोनॉमिक्स द स्टेटमेंट्स वी प्रोवाइड वी गिव कैन बी टेस्टेड और proved okay while under normative economics statements cannot be tested or proved okay so last but not least we can say under positive economics that this is the thing which is going to describe that is positive economics is going to describe economic issues while under normative it is going to provide solutions everybody is providing a solution for covid-19 this time but based on value so this is how we differentiate in between positive economics and normative economics if now we are being asked just about positive economics how we can talk about is we can form sentences from this very description only that positive economics is based on the data and facts that means it is descriptive it explains the cause and effect relationship between variables we will give an example and its objective is what actually is it asks us about it uh, the statements given under positive economics can be tested or proved and uh, positive economics is what is going to describe the economic issues in reality and vice versa you can talk about the normative economics as well so this was a very small topic which i was talking about i hope that uh, you enjoyed it uh, right from the beginning where we were talking about mr uh, einstein and mr commoner so we will uh, always try to be uh in the phases or in that uh, uh, with the sides of mr einstein not miss commoner never try to be a commoner you have to be an einstein who can describe the things in practical nature that is why we study economics that is what economics is going to lead us so uh, mr einstein is an example for you people so please bear it in mind that uh, we are done with one more topic that is positive versus normative economics where we can answer a many questions asked so i'll take a leave before we proceed with the final lecture that is production possibility curve which is